from the Penn Libraries. This tutorial is about how to manage your search results, printing, emailing, saving, and the clipboard. Let's say you've done a successful search on dental education, and now you would like to do something with your results. There are several different options available to you. One of the most common options is to go through the citations, selecting the ones that look the best to you. You may go through several pages. I'll just pick a few here. And then proceed to the next page and pick several more articles that look good. And then when you're ready, you can go up to the Send To button. This is where all the options are listed. The citations can be emailed to you by selecting the email function. Choosing a format. Make sure to choose abstract if you want the abstract of the articles. Filling in your email address and clicking email. If you would like to download results to your flash drive or your hard drive, Select the File option. Choose the format you would like to save your results in, and click Create File. Generally, you will be creating a plain text version of your citations that you can print out. Another option is to send your results to what PubMed calls the clipboard. The clipboard is a storage space that holds articles that you've selected until you've decided what to do with them. Items stored on your clipboard will be lost after eight hours of inactivity, so you'll need to do something with your results before that time is up. You can keep a maximum of 500 items on the clipboard. Once you add items on the clipboard, a link will appear on the top right-hand side of the screen allowing access to the clipboard. You can go through multiple searches collecting as many articles as you like and when you're ready to do something with them click on the clipboard link. All of your articles can then be printed, emailed, or downloaded. An additional option is to choose collections which sends your selected results to My NCBI, a feature that allows you to save your search permanently instead of having it expire after eight hours. My NCBI will be covered in another tutorial. One option that we don't recommend is order. While you are a Penn student, you'll be able to get all the articles you need for free through the Penn Libraries. The order button will require you to pay for access to an article. This concludes the tutorial on output. From the Penn Libraries.